and welcome to Wrong Way. And today is all about jumping on an electric wheel. So let me tell you more about it. Wrong Way. All right, so first I'm going to tell you which wheels are good for doing jumps and fun stuff. Later on, I'm going to tell you what sort of accessories you will need for your wheels, such as power pads, foot blades, what do you need at all. I'm going to also advise you to get some gear. Afterwards, we're going to get into the nitty gritty, start with jumps on flat ground, then a bit of jumps with pop. And finally, we'll get into the big boy jumps on ramps in a bike park. So there's also timestamps below, you can check them out. Subscribe if you like this video, of course, at this point, because it's very early, so hey, you might be really fancy. <laughs> uh, no, that's Monocat's uh, slogan. All right, let's get into it. The bigger the wheel, well, except for the, let's say, Monster Pro and Sherman, Go, Let's go. The better. So you don't want to definitely jump on a M103, especially if you are a rider above 70 kilograms. And if you have a Tesla or MCM5, Inmotion V10F, all of these wheels with a narrower tire, even though 14 inch or 16 inch, typically they can get damaged from excessive jumping. So typically it's the best to start jumping when you have a wheel with a 16 by three inch diameter and optimally with a 18 or 19 by three inch tire. But the wheel selection isn't everything. Naturally, you also need some proper accessories for uh, for jumping. Without any DIY pads, or in this case, those pretty nice Grizzler pads, which I'm testing right now, they're really cool, uh, it's very difficult to jump any wheel. Uh, so you want to get yourself a pair of those or any DIY kit, so your foot is locked in and both your heel here can't run away and also here the front part of your step, uh, of your foot. Now I have it set up for different shoes, which are higher. So now I have a bit of room here. Typically you don't want to have any wiggle room uh, or just a very small bit of wiggle room. So you have total control over the wheel. I also do have these new Nilanova um, V3 with, I don't know, risers. And of course, adjustable angle, uh, which are also a great big help because of the studs, they keep you in place. And I also have a high angle of pedals which keep me hugged to the wheel. If you have like an Inmotion v uh, V12 or V11, they have typically very flat pedals. It's easy to fall off from them. So yeah, this is the gear. You can see that my wheel also has a seat. You don't need it for jumping at all. I just have it here because it's a pain in the ass to remove it. And I also have a shell that I want to customize. You know, if you, want to, if you don't want to thrash the wheel in bigger jumps, you just want to have that. Okay, in any case, uh, also always wear gear. It might look like I don't have any gear on, but I have protectors here by laser rolling and also my hips. Hips are very, very important. You can also get shorts that do pretty much a very good job at protecting your hips. And I also have protectors here in this jacket and a beefy back protector. And naturally also a full face bicycle helmet, shoes uh, over your heels uh, perfectly. Also MTB shoes. These aren't MTB shoes, but these are pretty uh, robust and as you can see here it's already wearing off and uh, that's because of how much friction is here on your heel versus the wheel uh, okay so with that said let's uh, start with uh, the first jump i wanted to show you and it is just a regular jump on a wheel on flat ground You might use it just in everyday life for fun or you can jump onto a curb or you can just jump off stairs if you if you fancy like that so what you want to do is to jump essentially like you would jump without a wheel so you want to bend your knees and then jump and pull the electric unicycle towards you when doing that try to keep the electric unicycle as leveled as possible 
although it's pretty natural to keep it leveled. If you want to have a bit more pop and energy to your jumps, try to compress the tire first so you sort of put weight onto the wheel and then jump with the added power of the compressed tire. Check out the difference in those clips. Remember to land on bent knees and especially don't try to brake while landing. This will cause the tire to spin backwards. It might make it a bit more difficult to land. Anyways, there is another technique for jumping in like street use and uh, that is just popping off a curb or a small small obstacle. So if you have a curb like this here, you essentially compress or you go on your knees before the jump, then you decompress and the tire goes into the curb and then you can jump very high. And this is also partially how I can overcome small sets of stairs because you are literally launched into the stratosphere because the EUC provides power to lift you off and uh, the compression of the tire gives you this additional trampoline effect. So this is the technique I really like. However, remember to have a high pressure when doing that. Ideally around 40 PSI or even more, especially if you want to clear some curbs or stairs. It's also optimal to have a knobby tire like that because they're thicker and they can handle more without damaging the pretty soft rims that we have here on our EUCs. And now we'll move into the big guns. This is jumping on ramps. All right, so now we've moved on to the local bike park here, uh, Kazura. And we won't tackle these jumps yet. Uh, maybe it should be time could do a tutorial on this. I encourage you, Mike. But uh, I'm going to tell you the in ins and outs that I've learned from my experience, how to jump better on maybe not huge jumps like these, but a bit tamer ones, when I'm, which I'm going to show you in a second. So as said, uh, maybe some preparation first. You need the height. Uh, tire pressure. I also like to go into my wheel settings and calibrate the wheel so the pedals are tilting up like this and then I don't have the fear of scraping with uh, the pedals when I'm in a run-up on uh, to the rim uh, onto the ramp. Boom, got it. So that's the first thing uh, I do. Naturally, you have your gear, have your, I know, correct mentality, just have fun. And usually the biggest obstacle at the beginning is just the speed to overcome some jumps. So start maybe with some tables that have like ground in between. Don't start maybe with the jumps that have like a giant hole in between them, because then you are sure that if you land badly, then, you know, you won't, um, and I'll fall into a deep hole, but that is actually not so bad either. Now the optimal um, wheel for jumps currently is the uh, MSPHT, but also not that much because the axle can break here. So the best wheel for that is actually the Bigod RS19 High Torque. High Torque wheels, <laughs> Kate is smiling because she likes that wheel. Um, so these High Torque wheels are just the best for uh, for jumping because of their robustness, because of their torque 
and you don't really need the excessive speed uh, of 70 kilometers an hour when going on the jumps like these. Uh, ideally, as said, knobby tire. I have the CST C186, but the Kenda is better. You need to do some mods to the UC to do that, but okay, I digress. Anyways, the most important thing is not to be scared. Uh, maybe look if there's some bicyclists nearby, they have a certain speed and they clear the jumps usually, uh, especially starting with the small ones. So what you want to do is uh, start riding and don't be afraid, afraid I said, to get some speed. Ideally be in a position like Mike Leahy, Leahy. so you're just like leaning forwards a bit. And uh, when you're going onto the jump, don't brake. Like that's a problem I had at first. I was going onto the jump and then I started to make this move. And this, you know, braking onto a jump is not a good idea, as you might imagine. So uh, you want to keep your speed, preserve your speed, lean, lean forward, look at the ground in front of you, or just look in front of you. Then when you want to land, don't be afraid if you case it. So if you land before the landing, it's not that bad. Usually you can save it. And whilst you are in the air, uh, preserve the level of the EUC, because as you can imagine, if you lean forward, if you lean back, then the EUC started, starts to um, accelerate or decelerate. And usually a problem I had at first is that I was trying to make the jump with the slower speed, with not enough speed, and then I was putting the wheel in front of me when landing, and that's causing the wheel to spin backwards, which is also not a good idea. Uh, so yeah, make, it, make sure you have the right speed. Also maybe stiffen up a bit before the jump, and then uh, if you're in this position you can also lift the wheel up a bit to yourself and then decide sort of when you will land. And uh, also very important if you have your pads I will move them right now. As you can see now I have quite a bit of wiggle room. You want to have as little as possible that you're locked in and you don't fall off the EUC. So with that said let's, uh, let's make some jumps. Maybe one more asterisk uh, to all of the jumping stuff. Jumping is in general not good for wheels, as you might imagine. So be prepared if you just fall too many times. Uh, either the fan might break or, I don't know, something might break in the EUC. So uh, be aware of that and also monitor your temperature. If it's right on the EUC, I would say 60 to 65 even degrees Celsius is okay for, for those jumps. Even a bit more, but better not. I usually stop at it's if it's like around 65 or something like that. And of course, be aware that you know doing jumps might just break the UC. It's better than with scooters. It's better than with other vehicles like I know skateboards. But still, you might damage your wheel. All right. Enough talking. Amount. Enough asterisks. Let's get into it. Okay, so I just recently learned about this, I know, leaning forward technique, it's, it's tremendous, it helps a lot. So what you saw there is uh, I tried to lean into the jump a bit too much. The wheel sp started spinning out of control and that's why it like run off from me uh, when I was landing. So I guess the most difficult part is to make the right speed in the beginning, have the right position and, <laughs> and when you land <laughs> be really as leveled as possible.
So these were my tips for jumping on UC. Uh, you know, I'm not an extreme pro, but I feel like there is not a lot of content on how to do these jumps and how to tackle that, um, I don't know, properly. I hope you could learn something from this video. And if you're still here, leave a like on the video, subscribe to see more content like this. I'll see you in the next video. See you soon.